U.S. President Barack Obama is now on his first official visit to Israel and the West Bank, where he will meet separately with Israeli and Palestinian leaders before he embarks to visit Jordan. People on the streets of Amman were hopeful he would push for progress in the Palestinian peace process, but U.S. officials have downplayed expectations. I expect that there will be a solution for the Palestinian and Israeli people. The solution is here, and Obama will push for it. He will not come here for no reason. He will not waste his time here for nothing. U.S.-led negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians broke down in 2010, and the two sides have not spoken directly since. The talks ended in dispute over Israel's settlement building on land the Palestinians want for a future state. Political analyst Labib Kamhawi says he sees little point in the president's visit if he is not pushing for renewed talks. Why is he coming here if he doesn't want to address the basic issue? I mean, he's visiting... Uh, uh, the occupied territories, Israel and Jordan, and what the common factor amongst the three, the three countries here is the Palestinian problem and the Palestinian issue. Now, if this man says, I have nothing to propose, I have no intention to address this issue, why is he coming? Is he coming as a pilgrim or as a tourist or as the president of the U.S.? Obama's lack of a new plan feels like a snub, according to Labib. People, they seem to be sort of uh, unhappy because they feel that this is a reflection of a negative, passive attitude by the president of the biggest power on earth towards the suffering of the Palestinians and the problems confronting the area. President Obama is due to come to Jordan on Friday after he visits the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem.